Hello guys, welcome back to Talent Battle and today we are back with yet another amazing opportunity from Qualcomm. Yes, so Qualcomm is hiring for engineering interns and today in this video we will check out the eligibility criteria and what is this internship all about and why you should apply to this particular internship followed by a detailed registration process. So watch the video till then so that you do not miss any kind of important update. So let's get started. So this link you will be getting in the description box. As soon as you click on this link, you will be entered to the Talent Battles official website where we have listed this opportunity. As you can see, the company's name is Qualcomm and Qualcomm is hiring for engineering interns. Basically, there are two profiles. So today in this video, we will check out what are those two profiles also. Okay, so let us first of all check out the location and this is an internship. This is not a full time role and this internship is basically for the work from office job and locations are Hyderabad, Chennai, Noida and Bangalore. As you can see on my screen, there are four locations, Hyderabad, Chennai, Noida and Bangalore. Let's get into this. So first of all, they have given the Qualcomm overview. So Qualcomm is a company of in uh, inventors that unlock 5G or shrink in an age of rapid acceleration in connectivity and new possibilities that will transform industries create jobs and enrich lives. But this is not just the beginning. It takes intentive minds, diverse skills, backgrounds and cultures to transform 5G. So basically their idea is very clear. They are into the 5G industry and this would be the leading industry in the upcoming future. And if you are the part of this particular company, it would be very good as it will enhance your resume as well. So they are looking for bachelor's or master's degree in electrical engineering, computer science engineering, communication engineering, electronics and communication engineering. So these are the four branches which they have specifically mentioned. So I will repeat once again, electrical engineering, computer science engineering, communication engineering and electronics and communication engineering. So you must be of these four branches and you must be graduating in 2024 or 2025. So either you can be the part of 2024 batch or you can be the part of 2025 batch. So this is the particular eligibility criteria. And now let us discuss the two soft, uh, the two profiles. So there are two profiles. First is the software engineering intern and another one is the hardware engineering intern. So let us check out the software engineering intern. So the, for the software engineering intern, you must be graduating in 2024. It means you must not be graduating in 2025 if you have to be the part of software engineering intern. This is only for 2024 batch students must be available for two to six months of starting immediately. So this internship would start immediately. So you must be the part of for two to six months. Good understanding of OS concepts, data structures, etc. C, C++ and object oriented design, development of real time embedded software and device drivers, mobile software development for mobile, uh, Windows mobile, Android, Linux, Linux, Unix, Linux drivers, Linux kernel development. So you must have knowledge about these technologies. Uh, and the mentioned skill set. Now let us discuss about the hardware engineering intern. So for hardware engineering intern, you must be graduating in 2025 and you should not be graduating in 2024. Must be available for 11 months of internship. So 11 months in up, upward, it was just two to six months. And now it is for 11 months internship that will begin in July 2024 and end by June 2025. It means for around one year, you will be the part of this particular internship. Verifying SOC with embedded RISC, DSP processors, communications, networking, ACIs, uh, Verilog for VHDL, CC++, TCL, Perl, shell scripting, RTL design experience, or strong OO programming knowledge. O is basically object-oriented programming knowledge. So knowledge of VLSI, wireless, wired communications, protocols, so you must be good at computer networks as well because this uh, particular uh, internship is related to and most more inclined towards the computer network concepts. So you must be good at computer networks as well. So knowledge of PLL, LNA, OP, AMP, CMOs and all the latest technologies they have mentioned. So if you have any kind of projects or any kind of extra knowledge or any kind of certifications which you can prove uh, before entering to this company and like which you have uh, in your resume. So it would be car carried as an added advantage because they basically they are willing to take the network people. So if you have good hand in network and you are interested for the same, you can easily apply for this internship and you are for sure you're going to the part of 
this particular internship and applicants if you need the accommodation during the application or hiring process you can request to their email id which we have mentioned here okay so let's not waste any more time and i hope you have got the good insight of this particular company so let's apply to this particular job and let's check out what are the other thing they are asking in the registration form so while clicking on the apply you just have to log in as soon as you click on the login you will be entered to once again in the talent battle only and again you have to click on apply button then you will uh, be landed to the official uh, website of qualcomm where they have uh, put up this hiring opportunity yes so as you can see this is engineering in turn 2024 and 2025 graduates the same kind of information is present over here also you can just go through it once again if you have any kind of doubts and queries you can also comment down below our mentors will be happy to help you out okay so let's just click on this apply button here it is apply now as soon as you click on this apply now first of all they will be asking you to upload their res uh, upload your resume so uh, frame a basic resume consisting of all the uh, things that they are they have mentioned in the job description please be true towards your skill set don't fake your skill set at any cost because they if they if you're going to be selected they are going to take your interviews and if you're not going to answer good in interviews they might reject your candidature okay so you must be true with your skill set and you must be positive towards your skill set also so after your uh, like uploading your resume you will be getting this particular form i have already uploaded my form so that is why that process is skipped okay so first name you just have to put your first name so I'll just put my first name here. Okay. And your last name, then is your phone number. From here, you can just select the country code. Okay. So as we are in India, so just select plus 91 code from the list and put down your number, put down your email ID. If you have previously worker questions, uh, so you can just put up your answers here. Okay. Like please enter your previous Qualcomm email. So if it is not there, you have not been part of this particular company any, uh, like any time in the past. So you can just fill any okay and fill any at the place of qualcomm employee id also next put any at the previous qualcomm work location also and put any as your previous qualcomm manager as well next is gender you just have to select your gender next is the position location okay so here are some locations so i am applying for a position in united states only i am applying for the position outside united states i am applying for, for united states and uh, outside united states you can just select for uh, i'm applying outside the united states okay next is uh can you upon employment submit verification to your legal okay so you just have to select yes here you just have to fill your roll number of your college okay so just fill your college roll number next is your year of passing okay you just have to fill four year digits only so let us take it as 2025 okay next is your cgpa or your latest degree you are like you have to just sum up your latest cgps and you have to fill just uh, on an average you can fill okay so i'll just fill on an average next is your year of passing the master's degree if applicable so otherwise you will leave this a cgp of masters you can fill na okay next is intern or full time so you have to select as internship next is your college name so here are some college names you just select from this uh, here they will just mention the top uh, college names you can just fill state college okay and here in the state college you can find out your college name or if it is not there you can just fill other and after filling the other you can just fill, uh, fill your college name here okay okay next you have to just fill your degree so which degree you are pursuing in so it is be b tech next you have to fill your branch which branch you are pursuing in so you can just fill your branch here next is your college email id it must be official college email id so you can just fill your college email id also next is a personal email id you have you have filled it earlier as well okay like in your uh, form also they have might have picked up from your resume otherwise you can just fill once it once again as well and please fill the right email id because afterwards they are just going to communicate with you through your email ids only so kindly recheck your email id once Next is a mobile number. You can just fill your mobile number. Next is your date of birth. Just fill your date of birth. Okay. In your DD, uh, MMDD and YYY. So first of all, it will come month. 
next it will come date and next it will come uh, your uh, date of birth okay next is your 10th percentage just fill your 10th percentage next is fill your 12th percentage just fill your 10th 12th percentage also applied group okay so you just have to select from like hardware software it so uh, if you were a hardware stream uh, like 2025 so will hardware if you are from 2024 just fill software okay location preferences there are three location like four location preferences you can fill three so my first location preferences so by this way you can just choose or else you can just choose the same preference as well but if you are not getting that then there it would be the uh, like company's option whichever option they will be giving you have to accept that okay so you cannot fill uh, you can fill uh, repeatedly the same location as well but if if you're not getting the bangalore location let us suppose so it's upon company whichever location they are willing to uh, like uh, enroll you they will take you there only just read these terms and condition just click on i consent and you have to just click on this submit button so this was the form basically okay so i'll just click on the submit button yeah so thank you for your application this screen this is just a tick uh, like you will be getting also okay so by this way your application will get submitted if your resume gets shortlisted you are uh, like uh, you can be uh, full sure like you are going to get uh, the first round link as well and all the links for the rounds or the interviews will be passed to you through your email ids only so again i am saying please review your email ids once filling it okay so go back once uh, check out the complete form because after that you can see you, you cannot edit your form once the form is submitted okay so this was all in today's video i hope you like the video and for more such content do subscribe to our youtube channel we are sharing on daily basis about the companies and companies hiring and also we are sharing with you the preparation strategies and talent battle is preparing students from the last more than 10 years with their expert mentors training them in aptitude coding and advanced technologies also and also we have our courses like full stack courses and other courses like super 40 batch master class courses so you can just check out our website and if you need any kind of placement assistance or you need to go one-on-one -on -one talk with our mentors it is just free of cost you are just one message away so just message on our youtube channel or like or you can just comment on below on this video also or else you can just reach out to us on our official website or also you can just reach out to us on our instagram pages uh, our mentors will be calling you shortly and clearing all your placement related queries so this uh, that's all in today's video thank you and hope you like the video okay have a nice day